Hey, my name's Mike, and this is my wife, Heather, coming back to you from Landtrier Farm. Um, we just kind of wanted to put out, I guess, an introduction video, in a way, because we've got a lot of new subscribers coming to the page. We're a family of four that moved to Western North Carolina four years ago from California. We have two kids. Our son's name is Jackson. He's 11, and our daughter's name is Juliet. She is eight. We moved to North Carolina four years ago, starting out in an apartment. From there, we moved into a small house on eight acres, uh, which we fixed up and then ended up buying the home next door on one acre. We came across a really great opportunity to sell all that land in both of those homes. And we are currently living on a 100 acre farm in Western North Carolina. The four of us are trying to do our best to farm and be as self-sufficient as possible. We have plans for our massive garden and high tunnel, cows, ducks, chickens, pigs, just growing as much food as we can. Yeah, we just finished building our greenhouse. We're doing a lot of land clearing now, which you'll see in the next video. We're really glad you're here to join us. And if you would like, you can click down below and see our latest video, which was Heather doing a bunch of spring planting and prepping in the garden. We've got a 50 by 150 foot garden. There's gonna be half raised rows and the other half will be plowed for potatoes and corn. Yeah. Right? Yep. And then the high tunnel will have tomatoes, peppers, and cucumbers. And part of it will be for seed starting. On top of all the gardening and stuff, we are always getting into some wild projects. Another video you could check out is us removing a massive tree from our pond. It took a lot of work and a lot of different trucks to get that thing out, but it was fun. So we just wanted to do a quick video to introduce ourselves. Thank you guys for checking it out. While Michael's working on the excavator, I thought I would take you around and show you some of my favorite spots on the farm. I'll also tell you some of our future plans for the farm. The garden in the high tunnel, definitely one of my favorite spots. Eventually I plan to clear from the driveway all the way to the hill and either make this into pasture or put pigs in here. We plan to make a road from our driveway out to the gravel road. We plan on fencing along this hill all the way, we have a logging road up here and all of this will be pasture for our cows. And then all of this flat area, we plan on using the cut hay. We plan on using these to water the greenhouse and the garden. I think we're going to use one under the gutter on our house and water the garden with it. And then the other one we're gonna put up on our little tower thing and we're gonna pump water from the pond into it to water the high tunnel. This is one of my favorite spots on the property. This creek is amazing. This is one of the kids' favorite spots. They built a little bridge for themselves. And there's a little pond over here. There's a little swing here the kids swing on over the creek. That was here when we bought it. We plan on using this tank for gravity fed water to the house since right now it's being pumped from our spring house up to the house. So when the power goes out we don't have water and we would really like to. That creek keeps going and it goes way up the top of that mountain. We have followed it to see where it comes from and we're pretty sure it's all from springs. This is another one of our favorite places. I think this is what actually sold it the most for us. There are logging roads cut all through this mountain, curves all the way around to another entrance, way this way. I think there's five or six different ways. Eventually, there's a barbed wire fence here for when they used to have cows. We're gonna push it back to give them more pasture and clear a little bit of this out so we can get grass in here. This is all gonna be pasture. We have a lot of brush to get out. We plan to keep raising our chickens and our meat rabbits. We are gonna hatch some Icelandic eggs and start raising those. The goal is to raise the rabbits and the chickens together and let them build compost for us. 
All right, here's the other entrance that those logging roads end up at. Here's the meadow. It's amazing. This is where Jackson wants to build a house someday. When we first came to look at the property, this was all wildflowers, this whole flat area. This meadow pond. another logging road. That pond we were at is right here. The creek's right here. There is an underground pond and spring right here where they used to have trout, but it caved in. More of the tree and another waterfall. This waterfall goes from behind the pond. There is a lot more to show you. We'll have to take you hiking at some point. Up this road, they mined for quartz and mica all through the mountain out here. And of course, the orchard. That will be an orchard someday. It'll be more of like a food forest orchard. But right now it's a baby orchard. It is. There are only four trees. Yeah, it's a baby orchard. It'll grow up. And the place that the four of us spend the most time at is the pond. The kids usually get up and fish before homeschool every day. When it gets warm, they come in and walk around in here and catch salamanders and tadpoles and all kinds of stuff, minnows. This is a really awesome spot to hang out at. The future plan is to build a little dock right here where they fish. Maybe another one here. And then we're gonna have a gazebo and cooking area out here for when we have potlucks with our friends and our family. Thanks for hanging out with us today. We can't wait to see you on the next one.